Heiligkeit. He's saying that in MacDonald's youth, he wrote a number of different articles and books like in the form of English poetry. So he's asking how Gaudi Vaishnavas regard these sort of articles and books of the Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Um, is the run um, <laughs> <Run -tun? laughs> Why he wrote? Yes, <laughs> but um, Srila Bhakti Nath Thakur, uh, though he was an eternal associate of the Lord in his youth, uh, he appeared as if he was, uh, he was not exhibiting his uh, characteristic as a Vaishnava. He was uh, of course, very religious-minded, very philosophically-minded. He studied many different scriptures, and but it, it at least appeared externally that he had not embraced fully the path of Vaishnavism or Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Uh, so we take this as a pastime of the Lord in order to fulfill a, a certain purpose, uh, as was explained. <coughs> Uh, by some of the other devotees. The, the particular social climate at the time, the, the British were in charge of India, and they were very strongly preaching against Vedic knowledge, against all the Vedic scriptures, and indoctrinating the youth into uh, either Christian concepts or just materialistic concepts. So, and simultaneously, uh, the Gaudiya Vaishnavism was not in very high regard at the time because of so many Sahaja practices. So, um, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, by uh, being, he was highly respected for his, that he was an intellectual, he was a very responsible, uh, had a very responsible post in society. Uh, so because of his, his external appearance, uh, it was easy for people to respect him. So that when he fully manifested his uh, nature as an unalloyed uh, associate of the Lord and a staunch advocate of Gaudiya Vaishnavism, then he was so influential, so many persons could accept because uh, it wasn't that he, because of his position in society as a, as a magistrate, as an intellectual, as a broad thinker. So, as far as I understand, the writings he did in his youth were in that mood. They were a part of his lila in order to set a certain platform from which people would be able to accept him when he fully adopted the... Uh, Mind of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. No more English for no father, I appreciate this time to drink. Fishman of Peter Tan, Kish Awakinami, a few months at Kerry Tan, Swash Tanam, the Parliament, the Jeeva to Kerry Sabata and Am Sayam for that. No more English for no father, I appreciate this time to drink. Krishna Bhakti Shiddham Saraswati Dina Namo Bhakti Dhanodaya Satchidanam Narami Gop Shakti Sarupaya Rupam Gurai You have heard so many things. About two hours you are hearing. And the devotees are having so much and so many ways his life, his teaching, his writing, his mood of preaching, everything has been told. But yet everything has not been told. Brahma kind of told 
shall be four half mouths. How we can do all these things? Especially if you are transcendental and we are not transcendental. So how we can touch his glory? A transcendental person can touch the glory of transcendental. But we have heard some from our Gurudev, some other Vaishnavas, and Sarvati from other books which are attentive. So, all I had told that he was Sapsam Goswami. After Sapsam Sarva Goswami, up to Bhakti Thakur, Anyone has not take, taken this upanam of Sattam Goswami. Only the latter persons and devotees saw the glorious activities of Sri Bhaktivinoda Thakur and they gave this upanam title of Sattam Goswami. If Bhakti was, but Bhakti not, Thakur was not there at that time, I think the, all the teachings and pure Gaudiya Vaishnavism has gone to ocean for ever. <coughs> he enlightened again all these things. It was like a darkness period for Gaudiya Vaishnava. At that time, anyone like Sahaji I used to give Siddha, Siddha process, Siddha Pranali. They call, they used to call it Siddha Pranali. And Siddha Deha to all. They don't know even, they, those persons, not devotee, they don't, don't know any Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, no sadhacha, nothing. And they used to go to their guru, like Sahaji Babaji, and he used to give them this is Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranali. They have a mis, uh, misconception of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu teachings. That to be with a uh, wife of another person and to go to Vrindavan and what? and to be with her and making children, and this is Gaudiya Bhakti, like this. That you are gopi, this is Siddha, Siddha Deha. Oh, come on, come on. I am giving you Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranani. <coughs> to whom? He is not knowing anything, every city of <coughs> any teaching, Chap Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And you know that I am this body. He does not know that. And so, and the part and parcel and servant of Krishna eternally. He knows nothing. Even he don't know that after pool going to after passing, I don't know how to clean. How to clean? Ever this nothing. But they were given at that time. Siddha Deha and Siddha Pranali. That you are goofy. What is Gupi? <laughs> they used to think I am lover and loved, beloved, in this world, like this. So then they think that collect any lady and be with him and enjoy, and this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu philosophy, this prayer. At the time of death of any person, Taking some money and they used to do Kirtan Hare Krishna Hare Krishna and fall in the what? That dead body. Dead body. 
and having some boys, some rupees for that. Understand what I am telling? What I do? If anyone was dead and he is a rich person, he will do that, collect some Vaishnav. And he went to this Vaishnav Jati, Vaishnav, and told that I will give you some money. And so joined our this procession of dead body. And he used to do Krishna. So they used to do Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Hare Krishna. No one word of Krishna coming. And other people. Also drinking, drinking wine, no harm. Taking flesh and also meat and fishes, no harm. They are called flesh. So all learned person, educated person, is used to have so much shame for this. So they don't used to come in this voice, go in the voice no. So Bhakti Vinod Thakur was the first person. He introduced the Chaitanya, philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in learned society. And then all knew this thing. That what is Gauriya Vaishnava philosophy? What was the philosophy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What is really transcendental love and frame? After that. So he is Satam Goswami, like Bhagiras who brought Ganges in India. So he brought Bhakti Ganga in this world. And again all began to spark and inspire in this Gauri Yavashna. If there was no Bhakti no Thakur, we have not joined this mission. Never. If Swamiji was not here, but Swamiji was not gone to Siddha Bhakti Veda, Siddhan Saraswati Thakur, and Siddhan Sar certainly not coming from Bhakti Vinod Thakur, then where are you at? So it is all coming from Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He preached the doctrines were quite pure. Some say that he has not taken the Chakram, Jagannath Asuvar And he has not taken Baba Ji based from anyone. He took himself Baba Ji based. And Srila Bhakti Vinod, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati also do not take, do not do uh, sannyas from anyone. So they are not bona fide Chaitanya Mahaprabhu line. They talk, tell it uh, lacking of intelligence and ignorance. They don't know what is Bhagavad Parampara, Guru Parampara and all these things. That is why they are. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has given a very good line as Nadi Prabhu told and all others told. In Jaiva Dharma, Jaiva Dharma is last book, last book, final book. He has written everything clearly. How a Siddha Deh can be given to anyone? And who is Qualified, qualified person to take this. First, wish, in Bhajan Rahasyam, he has tell, written so many things very deeply. Those who want to enter in Bhakti realm, they should try to follow this Bhajan Rahasyam and Jaiva Dharma. His all books are like this. First, we should try to Sarva, first is low. Cheto dana param arjanam bhava maha dabhagni nirvapanam. Then we should follow and practice second is low. Nam nam kari bahu dhani sarvasha. Then third, what? 
Be like this, and if it is practiced, then come in fourth slope. Na dhanam na janam. Yes, will be detached from worldly desires and worldly tastes. Then when you will be pure, always chanting and remembering without any disturbance, then fifth will come. Ainanda Tanujika. This is Siddha Dev. In the beginning. Who am I? I am eternal servant of Krishna. In what time? Everything in is our Atma. But like everything, potency is there in seed. So all the potency of that Bhakti and everything in that in our Atma. But without water, Air, light, a seed is not sprouted, and leaves and branches of any, and flowers, manjaris, and after that fruit also comes. It is all in that seed of that creeper. But when it will be touched by the air, water, sunlight and all these things, then he will be destroyed, otherwise not. So when this fifth slok, Jiva Saru and after that, Nainam Galadashu Dharaya, Badanam Gadagadaru Dhaya Adhira, Ulukarneti Tangva Puhokata, Tavanam Grahani Bhavishyati, when and when if anyone will realize these things in his Atma. And he will see that I am eternal servant of Krishna. The, no worldly attachment at that time. That time, mercifully, the Sarva Shakti will manifest Ladini and some in the heart of that devotee. Then he will begin to be he will rolling down on the earth at the taking the name of Krishna. Like Agatamani Jasoda Nanda. He Nanda Suno, whoever you are. Sometimes he will see in a glance and at once he will run towards Krishna and Krishna will go out of sight and rolling down, feeling separation. If anyone not feeling separation for Krishna, Siddha Dev will not come. So at that time, Siddha Dev will come, not before this. If anyone doing this thing, artificially, they will go to hell. Like Babaji, left and left, Babaji in Vrindavan, Radha Kunda, they are only giving birth of children, and doing nonsense things. We know one of the brother of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur, the son of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Kedarna Bhakti Vinod, not of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. He used to know that that physical body was Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and we are son of Bhakti Vinod. But Srila Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Thakur never told like this. He told like the associates of Krishna, Radha and Chaitanya. Not as a father, that he was uh, blood and flesh and all these things. But all his sons were like this, that we are the children of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, really, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur followed the power of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And what he told, he totally admitted and he followed that. So, when the Bhakti, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is disciple or anything of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So, our goal is Siddha 
But what is the pranali? Who started it? From where it came? In what year it came? From whom came? From whom came this? Srila hmm? Sanatan Goswami and Rupa Goswami. They are Sanatan Goswami, Rupa Goswami, no Om Baba Ji. Anyone can not tell them that Rup Baba Ji and Sanatan Baba Ji. Srila Raghunath Baba Ji. And who get this Siddha Pranali to him? What is Siddha Pranali? Siddha Pranali is Sid Shastak. From beginning. Those who, first they should know that I am eternal subject of Krishna. Of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda. And following Trinadapi Sunej and becoming detached from worldly attractions and chanting and remembering always 24 hours in the guidance of any very qualified Vaishnava. Tannama Rupa Charitadi Sukratanam Kramena Rasanam Anishini Yodja. Sitan Prajeta Dan Ragi Jananugami Kalam Nay the Kilami. This is the Pranay. Ravnath Das Gosam has told this is the Pranadi. In Manashiksha, all are this Pranadi. And without accepting all these things, oh, you are Gopi. You are Lalita Gopi. You are Vishaka Gopi. From where it came? Who first get this? There is no history. It is not our culture. It is not the teaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Really, Siddha Dev comes from this. This is Siddha Pranari. Coming from Shraddha to Nishtha, Shraddha, then Guru Karan, Guru Bhajan, Guru Seva, and after that, Bhajan Pranali, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padashivanam, Archanam, Bandaram, Dasya, Khyatmani, Vedanam, or Sadhu Sangha, Nam, Kirtan, Bhagavad, Sravan, Mathura, Vashri, Putti, Sadhaya, Shivan, Vita, Process. We will have to come in this process. Then, Krishna will mercifully, Srimati Radhika will mercifully, Give this Siddha Dev. As in Srimad Bhagavat it is stated, Narad took mantra from Sanatsanandan Sanatana. And he left his mother dying. He was dying and yet he left her mother and went to dense forest. He took his their bath and he sat down very silently and he began to chant that mantra. We don't know how many years he practiced. And after that, Krishna came at once in his heart and at once vanished away. He was weeping so much, so much weeping. Then a Akashmani. Voice from the sky. Voice from the sky. came and he heard that Narad, I will not give you darshan again in this material body. You should go on chanting, remembering in this whole world. Always chanting and remembering and glorifying my past times. At the nick of time, death will come and you will put your legs, feet on the head of death and you will be liberated. Now began to do this, always chanting, remembering, doing all his Veena Jantra. Radhika Ramana Nami. Narada Bajaya Veena. Radhika Ramana Nami. Like this. 
जसोमति नंदना ब्रज पर नाग गोकुल रंजन कान गोपी पर नथना मानन मनोहर कालिया दमन लाइक दिस ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक द फर्स्ट हैंड्स ऑफ कृष्ण इन हिज ओन poetries the old song after so many years they came at once sit the day came and that sit the day he don't did not used biman or anything no airplane nothing like dhruva He was so much strong to go anywhere in this world by his body. That was transcendental body. This is Sita Devi, and this is not the process that anyone coming to go there give me some darshan, at least five rupees, <laughs> and you will be. Um, I, I will be the. Um, Gurudev of so many sishya now, and this temptation uh, they make so many disciples like the Baba Ji giving Siddha Devi and go to hell with their disciples and do both. So we should try to know all the processes that Bhakti Guru Thakur has told. There will be Shamanu Dasha. Parana dasha. There will be smarana dasha, apana dasha, bhavapan dasha, and then sampatti huh? dasha. In sampatti dasha, this is the day we come. First, shaman dasha. You will have to hear by any bona fide guru. Shrimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrit, all the philosophy of Rupa Goswami, everything. And after Baran Dasha, in Shaman Dasha, so there are so many things, so many things. After that, it will come Baran Dasha. We will have to practice in Shaman Dasha. There are so many things. Who are you? What is your name? Of this, not this body, of that body, transcendental body. Guru knows, and if Guru not knows, and by kalpana he tells tells that kalpana emanation, then it is false. So Guru knows all these things. Who are you? What is your name? What is relation with Krishna? What is relation with Sri Mati Radhika and Govind? Where you live? What is your name of father, mother? What is your service? How is your beautiful roof? Roof means form. form. And what is where you live? That is Radha Kunda, Jabar, Nandana, or. Varshana, you are daughter of Vishwabhan or anything. And after that, what is Agya? Agya means, what is the status of Radha and Krishna, conjugal? And Palyadashi Bhav, and so many things, eleven. You will have to hear and then practice. So in Samandasai, from beginning of Jaiva Dharma, And Shrimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitamit, all the books of Rupa Swami will have to hear and to know all these things. Then it will be Shamana Dasha. Not that you went to your Guru, the Guru there told that I am very beautiful Gopi and your name is Jalalita. At once. And this is Siddha Pralaya. We don't know who began this Siddha Pralaya. At the time of Vishwanath Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Vishwanath Thakur Baba Ji, 
Anyone can tell him, Babaji? It's not a Bhakti Thakur. So at that time, the Maharaj know this process to give anyone to um, this bogus Gopi Bhav. Hmm? Not that. We should come in the real process. This was the main object of Siddhar Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Bhakti Vinod Thakur has one, two lines. His teachings are in only two lines. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmasha. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam, Sarva Dharmasha. What is this? Essence of all the teachings of Ved, Vedanta, Upanishad, Bhagavat, Gita, Puran, Shriti, Smriti, Pancharatra, everything is essence to things. Jeeva Daya, Krishna Naam. What is the meaning of Jivedaya? Jivedaya? Mercy to? Two conditions. What is that? Bhakti Vinod Thakri has told. What is Jivedaya? If you are successful in helping any conditioned soul, to turn his mood, <coughs> worldly modes, to turn towards Krishna service. This is best daya or mercy to any condition. It is more than lakhs and lakhs hospital doing, here is what starting doing, lakhs and lakhs dollars of charities, it is more special. Only a realized soul can give this. So this is Jeeva Daya. How he we can attend? Only by name. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam Aiva. Only Nam. Name is himself Krishna. But we can make it pure in the association, association of very bona fide Vaishnava. Bona fide Guru. Otherwise, we cannot take pure name and pure Shuddha Bhakti. Shuddha Bhakti, what is Shuddha Bhakti? Raganga Bhakti is Shuddha Bhakti. We think that this Vaidhi Bhakti is Shuddha Bhakti, no, it is Shuddha Bhakti. Never. A spontaneous love to Krishna. This is Raganga Bhakti. We are practicing this then. And when it will be practiced, then it is a ragatmic frame. When we have no ragatmic frame and we are cultivating by our whole senses for that bhakti, then it is ragatmula. And when we accept the same thing which Rupa Goswami possesses in his what is that? Palladashi of Srimati Radhika. We conditioned soul have only right to go in this, not to being Lalita Vishadha. We cannot accept all these things. It is beyond the limit of conditioned soul. We can follow only Rupa Swami and Rupa Rati, <coughs> Lavanga Manjari and all Manjari. For Sanjeev Baba, they told that, oh, you are Lalita, I am Lalita. This is like a Maya, Maya Baba, that is monism. Don't try to go. Don't try to go in this thing. Artificially. Don't do nothing. Imitation. Don't do imitation. Come in the process of Siddha Bhakti Gnum Thakur, and that process is elaborately told by Siddha Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Gurushami Thakur. In the Bhakti Vinod Thakur portal, portal, but that near future, in near future, so many hundred thousands of Western devotees are coming with Sikha and Tulsi Mala, and they will meet with Indian devotees, and they will do Hari Bol, Hari Bol, they will chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Rama. And then our whole world, it will spread this mission of, pure vision of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, started by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So he is the root of all preaching, Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So we are indebted to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, really. Today, if the aspiration is there, there are so many things to be told. I may tell, uh, tell it um, briefly any another day. But I think that uh, what was useful for you, they have told everything about what we know. Also, today is the special day for Shri Radha Prabhu is himself not only associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is himself harsha for Srimati Radhika. Krishna takes beauty, golden beauty, and mood of Srimati Radhika. And he came in a form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gauchamsa. Actually, he is Krishna. Only to satisfy his three modes, Radhaya, Pranay, Mahima, and to sprinkle the mercy, hmm, to give that frame to all jivas here. Because he is so merciful and he is so rashik. Rashik Shekhar Krishna Paramakarun, E Du Ketu, Vinad. He was merciful and that is why he is giving Krishna frame to jivas. But what kind of Krishna frame? Prem Shri, the beauty of bhakti. What is that beauty of Unnata Ujjwala Rasang Swabhakti? That is the boat of Rupurshan. Tambula, Pranapada, Mardan, Payodana, like this, all these things. Hmm? They are only um, qualified to go in this. Not Lalita, Vishakha, Chitra, Chandravali and all. We are not like that. So, if Krishna took the mood and beauty of Radhika, then Radhika was like zero? Was she? No. He was only practicing how Srimati Radhika was in meeting and in separation in both ways. How he was happy in serving Krishna. And how he was feeling so much separation more when Krishna used to go to Mathura or Dvarka or in cow herding or if Srimati Radhika has man. Sometimes Krishna used to have man also. So, here in this past times of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gadadhar Prabhu was looking after always very carefully that Krishna is playing my role actually or not. Where is defect? So always looking after. And if there was any loop and hole, there were some loopholes sometimes in Krishna also. So he used to rebuke Krishna and to teach that this mood is mine. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came from uh, Gaya and now he was playing role, O oh, Krishna of everyone. This is the mood of Srimati Radhika. Aidina Dayadra, Nathahe, Mathurana, Padava, Lokkashe, Hridayam, Tada Alok Kataram, Like, also there is one slogan which um, Madhvendra Puri used to recite. Hey Krishna, hey Chapala, hey Karunai Krishindu. What is true? Uh, hey Krishna, hey Chapala, hey Karunai Krishindu. Uh, but what is the first line? Uh, or in Srimad Bhagavatam. Like, hey Nath, हे रमन, हे प्रिस्ट, क्वाशी क्वाशी महाभूय, की पढ़ाया दशास्ते, सखे दशाएँ शान्ति लाइटिस। 
So, Vedatan Pandit was associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in boyhood. He used to play in the lens of Navadvip with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when they were naked. When they were reading in schools, part sala, he was also associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he came from Gaya, he was associate. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took renounce order and gave up his worldly life, he was also associated with him. And he went to Jagannath Puri with him. And he promised that I will never give up this holy land of uh, Jagannath Puri. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to Vrindavan. Now he was ready to give up this promise. <laughs> Chetra Sanya, Chetana Mahaprabhu, take care of him. Oath of his own head, don't go. You should be here. Because Chetana Mahaprabhu wanted that I should go alone with Navan. Otherwise, if Gadadhar will go, then all will know that I am Krishna. So he was fearing so much. So, anyhow, he I stopped Gadadhar Pandit. Gadadhar Pandit was coming with him uh, up to any village of Odisha and there was a very big river. Then Mahaprabhu told that you should come with me from here. He should stop you. I am giving you my oath of my head. Then he became, at once became friend and Mahaprabhu, at once, as a niche to Kuruvel Hardy, he went along with two Brahmins, unknown Brahmins, and he went to Vrindavan. When he came, he used to be with Gadadhar Pandit in Gopinath temple. Gopinath? Tota Gopinath. Once, he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam from Gadadhar Pandit. At once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stood up and told Gadadhar, I want to give you a very wide, near and dear thing to you. I want to take. He told that, uh, take some sands from here. And a little sand was taken from there and at Gopinath. Very beautiful deity came from and he gave it to me. He told that this is my heart, and you should always worship this deity. He began to worship. Once Nityananda Prabhu came, having some cloths and beautiful rice and something else, and he gave to Gadada that if you should uh, make preparation of rice, Shah and all other things. But other Pandit was so expert in cooking because she was Radhika. And everything cooked by her was like more than nectar. Very quickly he did rice that Nityananda Prabhu. And he gave that Vastra to cloth to Gopinath. And he took some Tentul Patta. Samarin leaves and cooked a very good rasala from that. He took some uh, forest uh, shark leaves and made it so beautiful. And when he offered and Nityananda Prabhu was to take prasad, at once Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and told, Oh, you are cheating me. Why you not uh, in, in, invited me? And you are going to take only alone Nityananda and Galaga both? <laughs> I will also take Mahaprasada. Then he also sat there and Nityananda Prabhu and Mahaprabhu took Prasada and they were very satisfied there. After some time, one day he was hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. What? Krishna disappeared from no, from Rashvila. 
and they were singing and weeping with tears. Tavakatamritam tattajivanam kabdiritam kalmashapam shabanamangalam shimadatatam bhubhidrinanti de bhuridajana Mahaprabhu Britain has heard what he has said. Rather, Prabhu recited in such a separation mood that Mahaprabhu was meditated. He began to pray. He runs at once towards the temple and went to Jagannath and mixed in Jagannath. Gopinath. 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 But that Prabhu was waiting. That when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu will return, but he never returned, never returned. And he began fainted and rolling down on the earth. Oh Mahaprabhu, where have you gone? Left us. In pain, in the mature stage of pain, a Mahabhirahatmi comes. Like Koti Koti Pranayagni. Means what I told. Separation. In matured stage of pain, a Mahapirahagni, like more than Koti Koti Pralayagni, destruction, world burning in that, hmm, coming from the third eyes of Sankar, all are burning. So lacks and lacks time more than that. Very painful. Hmm? A stage comes. Go people like this. In the separation. One month separation. And one moment separation. So painful for this. A arti comes. Arti comes. Arti means? Oh Krishna, where you are? Where you are? Like this. This makes a very anarvachaniya sampatti. Anarvachaniya sampatti means? Indescribable wealth. And in this stage, this wealth, what wealth? That I am telling. Hmm? It dance over all kinds of happiness on the days of all Ananda. And that is called Vipralambharas. Hmm? Though it is seen very painful from outside, more than cross and cross heat of pralayagni. Pralayagni means destruction for but if a Andarvachani Ananda comes, by seeing this, Krishna bears. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was melted with the, this Pirahagni of Srila Gadadha Pandi. We cannot define this when we will be in Braja. And when we will feel separation, then we can know something. But we cannot describe to anyone. But it is the highest thing. And if there is nothing, then we cannot taste meeting of Krishna. So, Krishna is melted to see the devotee stage of separation mood. In our Shadam stage, we will have to feel some separation. If you are not feeling separation for Krishna, how we can do anything for Krishna? We cannot do any sadhana. But if feeling separation, that is something that should. And then more and more, and when we will come to Mark Shatman, how the mood, how the then this something abhas of that. Dirhagni will be manifest here and then she will study the
in this stage. So, the ordinary person, they cannot know what is that separation mood. Say they laugh sometimes. When Srivast Pandit was rolling down on the earth and waiting bitterly, hearing the sloka of Baraha, Abhidam, Natavarabhatu, and all the pandits of Navdip were laughing and joking, and they took his body and they what? They throw him out of that school. Ketan Mahaprabhu become very serious. They don't know Bhagavad even. So they laugh and joke. So Chaitanya, um, so Srimad Bhagavati is telling Mukti Tadati Nakshma Bhakti Yoga. Mukti Tadami Karadi. Krishna gave liberation and can give liberation and all these things, worldly things he can give easily. Mukti also very easily. But these friends Krishna does not give to them. Why? Because they don't know, realize this separation mode. They laugh and joke to devotees. That is why they, Krishna. He gets to rare only. Very rare. So Bhakti Vinan, Thakur was one of them, and he was the incarnation or manifestation of Sila Gadadhar Pandit, Gaur Shakti, and Gaur Shakti is Gadadhar himself, he is Srimati Radhika himself. So if you will take shelter in the Lord's feet of Gadadhar Pandit and to Srimati Bhakti Vinan Thakur, then we will come in process and very quickly they will enter in bhakti, shukta bhakti, kau pramanam priyo, jasamati nandana, vrajabharanagata.
He was second in the Council of Jalwas. Bandai was also there. Ogrushen Maharaj was leading there. Because he was king. And Uddha approved all the Jalwas were there. In the meantime, all were glorifying Krishna. But Krishna was somewhat upset. Buddha was sitting by the side of Krishna. He asked that, why you are upset? It seems that your mind is not here. He told that indeed you are telling that so. I am upset and my mind is not here. You know that Nam Vaiku Tishthami Tishthami Vaikunte Yogi Nam Hrdeva Nacha Jadamak Prabhupada Gayanti Tap Tishthami Nam Hrdeva Nacha Krishna had told that Narad, I am not in Vaikunta. I am not in any devotee's heart. <coughs> when the devotees are singing, heart in melodious tone, and quite observed with tears and melting hearts, at once I used to go there. Today I am thinking that some songs are coming, very melodious and heart melting <coughs> from the quarter of Rukmini. Perhaps there is going something. Someone is talking about me. So I cannot leave here. The matter was that all the queens, Rukmini, Shatabhama, Jamwanti, and calling the all were there. They were there assembled in the court of yard of Rukmini Devi. All the queens were telling to Rohima, Baldeo, mother of Baldeo. That mother, we are here more than sixteen thousand and one eight, one hundred eight. Very beautiful friends. In whole world we are qualified. Among them, Rukmini, Jamwanti, Shattvana, Rohini, uh, Kalindi, Bhadra, Mitra Vinda, Nathmanita, and all are prominent aids. We are so qualified, we are so beautiful, more than any of the world. But Krishna is not controlled by us. Sometimes sleeping with me in one court here and he weeps bitterly and he tells like, Oh Radhe, Oh Radhe, I cannot live without you. Be merciful to me, O oh, Lalite, O oh, Vishakya, where you are. Whole night waiting, and thus his pillow and weight is wetted with his tears. Sometimes he takes my hand 
in his hand and tells as if he is mad, Oh Radhe, why you have done man to me? Why you are angry to me? So, whole life passes and weeps. Sometimes he tells so much. Melted harder that he calls Mother, Mother, Mother Jesuvi. Very bad. Give me bread and bitter. Bread and bitter. Butter. <laughs> My cows are hungry. I must go at once to cow herd. The boys are calling me. Dam, Sidam, Sudam, Pasudam, Sto, Krishna, Lavanga, Arjun, Guj. All are calling. They are waiting for me on the door. And all the cows are having what? Mowing. Mowing. Very loudly. They don't give milk to their children, their coughs. All hmm, are hankering for me, so I must go at once. He don't think that I am in Dwarka with my beloved Rukmini Queen or Satyabhama. He always remains for pleasure. Why? What is there? In Brija, there are no wealth as we have here. Gopis has no ornaments like us. They are not beautiful than us. Why Krishna has given this heart to gopis? They are living in forests. They can get out that sun, only with flowers, not with golden and jewels. There Krishna used to go to cow herds, and here he is like a king. But why he demands always? We want to know this. Do, do they know some magic? Jadu? Jadu means magic. Are they know any mantra? Vashikarna mantra. Vashikarna mantra? Controlling? They know anything. So did they know something? That is why Krishna is always remembering and I was always waiting for them. Why? Then Joshua the Roni Devi, he remembered all the past times so. of Krishna. From boyhood to when he was at 12 hour more is all gracefully past times so. of in the meantime, the mother of Kans, which was too old of 100 years, more than that, she was like a bending like this, always head like this, always walking on a street. She came and told that. Oh, very dangerous thing. Why you are talking for gopis and gops? They were very cruel. Very cruel, very cruel. Even Jasoda, he could have brought up and nurse. Krishna and Baldev. Krishna and Baldev are the son of Devaki. But anyhow, by the fear of Kamsi, they were sent to Gogo. But he never gave a drop of milk to Krishna and Baldev. Sometimes they used to thief in Nevara's house, Gogi. And then 
They used to complain to Jasoda and Jasoda at once. He used to wipe them in grind out, sometimes their hands here and sometimes chastising. How did he this? He never gave a shoe or chapel even. Because in forest there were so many thorns. Cows used to go here and then thorn. And the pieces of the stones like well thrown. But Jasoda was so cruel and Nanda Baba was also so cruel that he never gave Krishna supplied any shoe or any umbrella. umbrella. So hot in India, in present. And he never gave. So don't tell their histories. I know them. They never paid anything. Whole day from morning to evening, they used to graze cows here and there without any pay, without shoes and umbrella. And he never gave me butter. So much butter there, but he never used to give. Like a servant, anyone can give something, but never she gave. Always repeat. Once she tired Krishna, and Krishna was repeating bitterly, but that lady has no mercy yet. She has two gales, a stick, and wanted to meet Krishna. And Krishna, mother, 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 don't, don't be. I will never do. He has never done that thing with me, she is telling me. So, uh, here I am telling you that my husband, Ugrashen, is so merciful. I think Krishna was 12 years there. And he has taken the milk of Yasoda. And they have taken some, after then, they, when they became of five years, five years to twelve years, they have taken bread and butter something. So we should count. That's what was the ex, they have expended for Krishna for twelve years. And we should also count that how many days, how many years Krishna has grazed there. So they should pay for grazing to Krishna and Bhante. There will be some amount of rupees. And also Krishna took there, they get some cloths. So we will count everything and we will call Gargachar, he is so expert in accountant, also astrologer. He knows everything. So when he will count, make a statement, what was the salary of Krishna and Baldev for grazing? And what had they expended for Krishna and Baldev? For only we will not pay. Because he is the party of Jasoda and Nanda and Gopis. We will never pay for Rohini. Only we can pay for Krishna and Baldeva. So, there should be a report for this. And when the, it will be balance, it. balance, if anything comes, we will pay double. Because we know that the salary of Krishna and Baldevi is more more and much more than he has taken something. Because he had, sometimes he has uh, gone to another neighbor house and he, there he has stolen and taken. At that day we will not come. <laughs> <laughs> so, <coughs> she was telling like this, Rani became so angry too. Okay. Uh, my husband is so Broad-minded and generous and very merciful. So
So if anything comes in balance towards Jasoda and Nanda, we can pay double. And if our balance is more for grazing the cows, for Krishna and Balde, then they will give up. Very generously, piteously, we can give up that. No, we don't want. So, we, we are calling to Gargacharya. Then Mother Rohini became so angry. I know who are you. Who was she? Wife of Ugrishen. But Kans was not son of Ugrishen. Once this Padma in young age was playing with her sakis on the bank of Yamuna. At the same time, it was evening, and in the same time, Dhrumil came, Dhrumil a demon. And he took her, and Kams was there in his home. So I know that you are not chest lady, and that is why you are not knowing the um, glory, of glory of love and affection of Prajapas. And that is what I mean so. So it becomes so furious. He stopped Padma and began to tell how Prajapas Love Krishna like their eyes, people of eyes. People of eyes. They cannot be without Krishna. Jasoda once, first day when he was going to graze coughs, being a little baby. Rani Maya is telling this first time. That when Krishna and Baldev are on their first day, were telling again and again, Mother, we want to go to cowherds because we are go. Let us give order. But they were not giving order. At least when they began to weep, then Jasodhamaji are told. That with cops you should go very nearer to this field and this Vrindavan and again return back. But she brought very beautiful souls and umbrellas that Krishna used to take and wear this shampoo. Krishna told the mother, cows are our versatile. We worship cows. They are like mother. If you want to give me, then bring shoes for all the cows, legs and nine legs of cows you should bring. If one leg, then four legs, because there are four feet. <laughs> and umbrella for all. And then giving them, and then I may take this shoes and umbrella. Otherwise I cannot. So I can, I want to worship them. Not their master, but being a servant of cows. Because I am Gopa. What is the meaning of Gopa? Maintainer, supporter, and nurture of cows. And a servant of cows. The Sutta could not. They have so much. Once, just was that told, my boy, all the gopis are coming to me and complaining that you have gone to their houses and you have kept some butter from their homes. Mother, why are you are telling that so? Man and he, Makhan Khayo. Maya, 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 Nahi Maakhan Khan Bhor Bhayo, Gauwan Ke Paache Bhor Bhayo, Gauwan Ke Paache Madhuban Mohi Pathayo 
मैया मैं नहीं माखन खाऊं मदर I am not telling that I have taken माखन I have not stolen माखन I have not eaten माखन and every morning you send me for cow herding in Madhuban and I went there and always being with cows here and there and when it became evening I am coming with cows now and after that I will sleep then when I need to mark her it seems that I am not your son, your own son. You have borrowed me from anywhere. Or I have taken birth anywhere and my mother left me. And anyhow you got me. That is why you tell me like so. So I want to go to Jamna and to jump in Jamna. Or I will go anywhere I like. I am not going to live with you. I found this was the beginning of the way because and he impressed Krishna. Oh my God! You have not taken Makhan. I have not told him. <laughs> then he began to tell Krishna, "I have not taken Makhan. Mother, no. I have taken Makhan. And just like that, no, 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 no. You have not taken." And then he began to curse. What? Curse. 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 And weeping. And bathing Krishna with her tears. Tears and bathing from her. The breast milk was coming. A spontaneous. And then this would have told that I will never tell like this. In future I will never. So Rodi Maya was telling. Once Krishna was going to carry to Kaupad with Shak Dham Sita, Madhu Mangal and all were there. Less and less cows. Some black, some golden, some white. It seems that it was looking like Ganga, Jamuna and Saswati were messing and going. One is the heads and what is the cow white, black and reddish was seen. Miles and miles. Krishna was going, Mother was also pursuing him, Nanda Baba was also pursuing him. Krishna is telling that it is my oath we used to return now from here and go to your home. Nanda Baba, who also he was telling, but they were not easily uh, left in living Krishna. Anyhow, Krishna Shah, Lenta Vishaka and all other copies, they are tearing from the windows, some tearing from groves, Sometimes from the doors here and there, Krishna at once attracted. He starts towards Jasodha, Shrimati Radhika. Bansi Karan Nipatitam, Bansi Karan Nipatitam, Skharitam Sikhandam, Bhrashtan Chapi Tabasanam Vrajarajasam, Jasya Katak Sargat Nimukcha Tasya Tan Radhika Paricharami Kadarashena Krishna saw Srimati Radhika and just so that Srimati Radhika was doing achan from her eyes and Krishna was taking very lovely both eyes two to became four like this Krishna began to tremble. Bansi came 
on earth from his hands. His pitamba came out of his body and he was about to faint. But Madhamangam, he pushed Krishna and told that, Oh, you are not seeing your father, Nand Baba is here, but you are. <laughs> so this is the love and affection joke. And by this love and affection, Krishna is controlled there. Gopis have so much affection and love that they think we have not a little love and affection for Krishna. Oh, these deers are coming with their husbands. Their husbands and some black collars. No? So they are called the Krishna Shah. And they are telling to their wives, you can see Krishna very easily. Don't fear, we are with you. But my, our husbands, all are opposing. If you see, they see that we are talking with Krishna, we are saying to Krishna, they will come and control us. They will chastise us. So I, we want that we should die and become so, Roni Maya was telling so many past times of Krishna. And all were eagerly hearing. Krishna could not <coughs> stay in the courtyard. There, Kongsi. And he came with Baladev on the door. But when he wanted to enter there in the council of Gopis and Roni Maya, there was Subhadra Devi. Sister of Krishna and Bhante. They blocked, she blocked and told that you can come in there. Because Rohini Maya has ordered that be on the door. Anyone should, any male person should not come here. Even Krishna and Bhante should not come here. If they are coming, you should stop on the gate. So she stopped the Krishna and Bhante. But sound was coming something. And Krishna very patiently was hearing, Balde was hearing, and Subhadra was hearing. Hearing and hearing, there Rani Maya melted. Her heart melted. And all the twins were very wondered how this presence is there. And Krishna hearing and Baldev and Subhadra, they melted. Their hands melted up to here. Their feet melted. Their heart melted. In the meantime, Nara came. And Golda refined Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra. Krishna and Baldev also and Subhadra. He told that, I want a benediction. What do benediction you want? In the meantime, that is so, that talking was stopped. Krishna began gradually in his own self, Baldev and Subhadra house. And then they entered in the room with Narad, and there Narad told that I want some benediction. What benediction he wants? I want that what shape in many things. Your hands were melted. Your feet were melted. Your everything was melted. I want to see forever in this world these three motives. Vikra. Krishna. Yes. I will be always presenting Nila Chaudham forever. So Krishna, Baldev and Subhadra are there forever and Rath Jatra festival is going away. He sometimes being whole year in Dwarka and he for nine days he wants to go to Vrindavan. 
we cannot bear the separation of Goksha and Goksha. So he goes to Vrindavan and this Gundicha Mandir is like Sundarajal or Vrindavan. <coughs> to go here, there and freely meet with Nanda Jasoda and all the Gopis. Here, when one day before our festival of Rath Jatra, that is tomorrow is Rath Jatra, Mahotsa. So today is Gundita Mandir. First, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not in Puri, then the king of Puri used to manage of everything. And they used to send their servants to clean the temple and to wash and to whitewash. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told, no. No servant go. We will ourselves. He took to hand thousand and thousand of broom here and took one one clay pot, colors, earth and colors. And with Madanga and Karta, dancing and chanting and singing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. They started from Jagannath and put the boat there today. And very morning at about six and seven. And thousands of persons followed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave each devotee for chandan with his own hand and garlanded them. And they started Kirtan. And so many parties. Jumping, dancing, and singing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha, Jai Jagannatha. Jai Jaya Bala Deva, Jai Bala Deva, Jai Bala Deva, Jai Bala Deva. Jai Sukhadra Devi, Jai Sukhadra Devi. All went there. First they began to broom 